let's play Ventura Highway, and then let's chat a little. Hit it, boys. Seven. F sharp minor, F flat minor, let me think that through. F sharp minor. It's a G7, just moved up. Here's your G7. Move everything up one string. So it's a shape you know very well. You're just starting on the uh, third string first fret instead of second string third fret. So same shape. Split. Uh, uh, triangle chord however you want to call that, split chord. And um, A and G with the A. Uh, great song, great strumming song. And we're doing down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. But you could tell I moved after the first, the intro and the first verse moved into chunking on the chorus. So that would be down, chunk, up, up, down, down, chunk, up, chunk, 
up, junk up, up, junk up, down, junk up, up, junk up, which would sound like this. Or in a chord, down, junk up, up, junk up. I do use my thumb on up strums, um, so it comes from old guitar playing days, and um, some people do that naturally, some people do not down. Sometimes that works for folks, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but anyway, so those are the two strum patterns. Most of the chords are played for two strum patterns. The only wacky part is that A uh, chorus, second line of the chorus, then moonshine. Two G's, you're gonna go. Two F, mi F, F sharp minors, no. An A stop and then 12, count them, 12 A down strums. And then right into G, because the free wind is blowing through your hair. So, second line chorus, let's do it again. F sharp minor, two, slowly, G. F sharp minor, two, A stop, 12. So in rhythm, in speed, it would be moonshine, you're gonna go, I know. into the G. Cause the, cause the free wind is blowing. As your fingers are moving from the A to the G, you're saying cause the. Cause the free wind is blowing. That's exactly what's happening. So, um, end on an F sharp minor stop. So you're doing the last line, you're doing, well the tricky bit is, so you get through uh, waiting for the early train verse, uh, second verse, and you go back up to the chorus. You get down to the bottom, you don't do the wish not a fallen star again. You just move straight down to the outro, which is if you listen to the video. Watch what's happening in the video after the second verse and the second chorus. Uh, move straight down to the outro. I think that's it. And then finish on a last G major 7. And then an F sharp minor um, single strum finish. The other thing that's going on in the song is I am doing some pump strumming where I'm pressing down on the chords as I'm doing my down strums uh, just to give it a little bit different uh, rhythm, uh, rhythmic feel. But it's the same strum. I'm just pressing down a little bit differently. So it sounds like this. So it's got a different. Uh, and uh, I think Cynthia Lynn does a tutorial on pump strumming, but you're. So this is a difference between a G, or G major 7, this is a regular strum. Perfectly beautiful. Pump strum. So it's pump mute, pump mute, pump mute, pump mute. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but that's what's going on with this song, and I'm looking forward to playing it with you. Aloha, Tabella, buongiorno.